Major work is underway at the Y-12 National Security Complex. Crews at the Biology Complex are removing the last two massive buildings to begin a new chapter of transformation and modernization at Y-12. This is a pretty important and exciting moment in the EM program here in Oak Ridge. Last year we completed our uh, cleanup at East Tennessee Technology Park. Coming over here and starting this is also a historic moment for our program. It represents the start of D&D or decontamination and demolition at Y-12 and at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which is the next part of our program here. Uh, our projects at these sites are removing old vacant Manhattan era project facilities. Uh, we're about enhancing safety and clearing space for the programs out here in NSA at Y-12, science at Oak Ridge National Laboratory to be able to modernize and expand their programs. Demolition started in November at Building 9210, a three-story, 65,000 square foot facility, which like the other buildings in the complex, had been vacant for years. Because our workers have significant experience with this type of work, they quickly completed demolition in early February and moved on to Building 9207. We're now using that area as a staging area. You can see the debris pile to bring down the building behind me building 9207, which is significantly larger, it's about 255,000 square feet. So the crews that you're seeing, these dedicated crews back here, our craft, or the demolition crews and all the support folks that work with them uh, to bring down this building safely. So it's an orchestrated effort using multiple pieces of equipment, excavators, shears, the loaders for the dump trucks. But well before this happens, our deactivation crews are in there removing a lot of the hazardous and universal waste. So we ended up removing about 800 tons of asbestos from this complex before we could get to the demolition of which, what we call open air demolition. I'm gonna give a lot of credit to the workers that you see here. Many of them are the same workers that we transitioned from ETTP. They have that critical skill set. They know how to do this work and they're very, very uh, successful and they're very, uh, very safe in the work that they do. So all the, all the credit goes to them. Um, every day when I drive into the plant here, I get to see the, the demolition of the biology complex. And the reason I get excited about that is because it frees up space for us in NNSA to pursue um, in modernizing our infrastructure. Any square footage we get in this valley that we can use is, is very important for us. And so we currently um, are going to pursue the lithium processing facility here at, on the biology complex footprint. As, as Jay's team continues to um, complete the demolition, it will set the stage for us to start constructing the lithium processing facility about the time that they are complete and we can start doing some early, early groundwork. As crews complete demolition on the biology complex later this year, workers will transition to other projects that address and remove deteriorating Manhattan and Cold War era facilities across the site to enhance safety and enable modernization.